Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where your boys continue to build the biggest and greatest transportation company throughout the whole entirety of the United Kingdom. Now, last couple of, uh, couple of episodes we've been working heavily on kind of trying to grow and expand our transportation as we go from England into Scotland and that heavily revolves around our Scottish loop. Now, it did almost bankrupt the company it cost us a lot of money but recently on our charts right now the income has started to increase as this loop is slowly starting to make more money and last episode as well as trying to make it more efficient by creating bus routes in all the towns i've also hooked up a shipping route from belfast to air right now which brings more people over and then more people who can transition and utilize this glorious line well today we want to try and expand it a little bit more we kind of dive a little bit deeper into it, create some new cargo routes because we've been very, very heavily passenger and I kind of want to build a couple of cargo routes to try and slowly grow some of these towns and I think then we can sit back, relax and just, you know, collect those checks. Uh, as your boys are making big big bucks so if you are enjoying the series so far make sure you smash that like button down below if you're under right here make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out now look at how big the liverpool and manchester area is now becoming as that continues to keep growing it's absolutely crazy birmingham is still absolutely mahoosive right now and so is london down here canterbury is getting bigger as well which is kind of crazy to see now, if you want to say, uh, oh, take a look at our town statistics, if I bring this all the way up right now, our biggest city still to this size is Birmingham, then London, and then Liverpool, which is crazy to see these cities now growing. Dublin, which is quite a late city that I connected to my transportation network, happens to be one of the biggest or in the top five biggest cities at the moment, which is kind of cool to see too. So, what are we going to do up here then, boys? Well, we are going to do and set up a couple of things. Uh, I want to try and figure out what the easiest form of bringing goods to these towns would be. Now, obviously, I can't do all of them because they literally want everything. There's, like, goods there, then machines, then fuel. There's then food and fuel. There's bricks and goods. There's then machines and tools, and there's uh, food and machines. They literally want a little bit of everything, which is uh, a bit crazy. So there's not really one dominant industry. But I think what I'll do first, and it'll be the easiest one to kind of get set up, is air here. Now, they require food and fuel. Now, I was looking around, and quite frankly, we have a very, very easy food, food, or, or, or wheat, or grain, we want to call it, to a food factory. I could create, like, a basic shipping route set up. I already have the harbour here. I just got to build the harbours over there to bring this food down, and that will then start growing air. Now, I could then also extend that over to Newcastle, but I don't know if there's any food nearby that will kind of grow that. But it just makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? We can kind of grow it, make some sweet, sweet cash when it moolah. And is there anything else around here? There is steel, there's um, tools over there, which might be a good one, but you got to get more set up for that. Uh, anything else nearby that we can kind of like maybe slightly uh, steal to feed those places? I'm thinking fuel. Um, we have a fuel plant down here, but I don't think we do anything with it. It has no shipment going on, but it does get something coming into it. So it might be an idea where we can maybe run, ooh, I don't know how difficult it would be, uh, a fuel line going all the way up, unless there's one nearby. Is there one in like Ireland I could maybe kind of steal? I don't think there's going to be. Where are all my fuel routes? So let me go to my industries. Bring this up. And if I change it to product, we've got one in Leeds, Bournemouth, and Birmingham. Oh, there's one in Leeds? Oh, yes, there is. It's right here, right in front of my face. And we, we haven't got no shipment for that either, and we are feeding it. So we've got a couple of options, to be honest with you, boys. We've got a couple of options. So let's start with this shipping route then. So we're going to work our way backwards. And what we're going to do first, then, is we're going to set up the cargo drop-off for this area. So we'll extend the landing over by one. And boom, there we go. Uh, we'll put a landing on it. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong one. It's got to be cargo. I keep forgetting. It's got to be cargo. And then put a landing on it. Boom. And we don't need to, but I'm going to anyway put a cargo building down. Now, the radius of this is not that big. 
when you look at it in that grand scheme of things. But if I go to place down something that is industrial, you can see that it kind of hits a few of the food spots and it hits a lot of the fuel spots as well. So we may be able to bring f uh, fuel over here too. Who knows? It depends on how we ship it up here, whether that's on a ship or via a train. So that's all set up there. Now we've got to figure out where we're getting it from, which is over here. Now, to get the food from here, we need to feed it with grain. There's one nearby, so I can set up a simple vehicle route that goes back and forth. Uh, and by the time a ship comes up, it should have quite a lot before it gets back down. But I could also utilize that ship to maybe stop off here on the way back to drop off some more grain as well. See? Killing two birds with one stone now, boys. Killing two birds with one stone. So we only need a cargo harbor. I don't, don't need anything too crazy. And... Can I delete a little bit? Of, no, I can't delete a little bit of that road. Or they end up deleting too much. So can I spin this round where we can maximize the road? Do you know what? What we'll do is we'll kind of slightly ter terraform it. So let's bring this slightly... Hang on, the brush size is completely off here. Bring that slightly out. Just leave it to about there. So it spins you right round. And I, I will I will delete the road and I will place it back in. Because what we can do is we can lower the road down to make it a little bit of an easier track. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. Right, okay. We'll go back there, which is perfect, which leads up to here. There we go. Perfect connection, boy. Perfect connection. So delete you. Now, we're only really going to need one landing because I can't see much going on. But on the off chance that we do need more... I've got two availability for cargo anyway. So that sorts that out then. So let's first start feeding it with what it needs. So streetwise, we just need a truck unload stop here. And then we need a truck stop just over here as well. Now we'll do one platform, make it super long on one side. Easy peasy, simple mate. Easy peasy, simple. So we're gonna create a new line. And we'll go from over here to over here. And this is going to be called... I mean, what would you call it? I mean, I know it's near Yulipol. So is it... We're just going to class it as that. The Yulipol Grain. Or Ullapol, however, however you pronounce it. Ullapol Grain is what I'll call it. We'll change the colour as well to like the colour of grain almost. And then we're going to need some vehicles over here. Now, I'm sure I have a vehicle depot nearby, or a road depot, which is just over there. A little bit out of the way, but it will still do. And we'll utilize... That does all cargo, but carries 20. That does all cargo, but carries 32. I'll buy one, and just see how we get on. Because it could be that one's enough. Because of the, the, the simple distance. Now, one more thing I will do is upgrade the streets. Just so we got a little bit more speed on the go on these roads across the bridge okay it doesn't like going across the bridge okay actually we can bring it to there which is fine and just there so a little bit more speedy on that road perfect so that will start doing what it's got to do all i've got to do now then is just get this set up here with a, a little bit of a harbor so shipping wise spin it. now this is going to be quite difficult to get this in if i'm completely honest with you Bring that all around like that, and then we'll try and smoothen it. You're not really going to get much out of it, to be honest with you. And what's easier? Easy to go this way? No, easy to go this way? I might just drop it there and see if I can connect the road to it. So go on the basic style of the road. No. Do you know what I might do? Delete that road. Delete you. Push this slightly out a bit more. Place you now down. Smoothing it. And then place the road. There we go. So that connects to there. You can see because it, this goes grey around it. So let's quickly sort this out then. Bit of a pain this task, but it should be pretty good. Now we're only going to pick up from here when we're on the way back. So, because 
when, when you figure it when you think about it right we pick up the food here so on all, all the way down here it makes money but on the way back it makes no money so we can just make it stop off here pick up and then as it gets back there it makes a little bit more cash so the shipping route has a little bit more going on about it than you kind of think and realize so we're now going to create this new line so from over here we'll then go so from there to there to there and then back and that's literally it that's all it's going to do so just to make sure that it does the right thing it kind it, it literally unloads in air on the way to london derry it loads and then here it also well it does both it loads and it unloads i won't need to tell it what it needs to do because there's nothing else it can really take so it, i'm just beating around the bush too much there right we'll get a shipyard here oh wow I've, I've, i actually don't like what i've just done there i just completely caved into the mountain and it's kind of weird isn't it can i put it over here somewhere reasonable because i don't want to use the one all the way down there it's too far away can i just throw it here I right, pull it there, and then we'll smooth and keep it simple. Right, okay, so let's buy a ship then. It needs to carry multiple multiple loads of different types of cargo. Food and grain, that one's perfect. We'll buy one and see how we get on. So it's classed as line one. I didn't actually name it. So let that do what it's going to do right now. We'll let it run out. So quickly call this one. I'll call this our ear food simple mate simple so we should eventually start seeing that this harbor storing the goods from this farm uh in the meantime has the vehicle already made it over here yet i think i was paused the whole time wasn't i yeah so that's what it's starting to get food stacking up there anyway so i ain't gotta do nothing else right now i'll just leave it we'll come back to it and then we'll see if we need to adjust it here and there and see how we're getting on any food over here yet boys that's got the shipment numbers up. I don't think you're going to see much go on just yet until the uh, the boat's completed its route a few times. Right, okay then. So we're starting to see more passengers on the Scottish Loops. We are. We actually are starting to see a lot more passengers on these Scottish Loops. I think my big concern was the amount of people wanting to go back to the Liverpool-Dumfries route. Now, as of right now, we've only got two trains on it. It will make sense to get a third train on it. And I think I tried to do this last episode, but I didn't have enough money. Wrong button. But I've duplicated it. Got a third train on that route. So hopefully we'll see some big stacks being made. It'll also bring more people up to the Scottish Loops as well. Because there's a lot of people waiting there in Liverpool on that stop. And then the south one, there's a lot of people waiting there as well. So we've got to get them moving, boys. We have to get them moving at this point. I need to create a better bus route around here as well, because this... But does it even show us the radius? Hold on. Oh, yeah. That radius is good, but it doesn't reach everywhere you want it to reach. That train station does a good job, though. <laughs> okay, right. We're getting sidetracked a little bit right now. We're getting sidetracked. So, has this finally got any f food here? Any grain? No. How long until we're going to see that then? Do we have to wait for the, the, the actual boat to complete a route? That's now driving over. Which is driving slow because of the road. But we're in no rush. We're in no rush, so we'll kind of get away with it. We'll get away with it. So, those loops in question then. Scottish Loop 1. Finances are slowly getting there. They're slowly getting there, boys. Scottish Loop 2. Finances. Again, slowly getting there. We will eventually make it or have it start making us some sweet money. Is that a Scottish Loop one coming in? No. How full are you? You can definitely take a few more people. But there's a little bit of a wait here for the Scottish Loop 2. And that doesn't mean get another train, Seniac. Here comes the train anyway. Glorious. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Right. So I think then, we'll just leave it alone now. We, we're definitely on the way through making money. We know it's going to make money, so we're bringing some more stuff over. So the food route is all up and running. Now, this is the difficult bit now. 
is the the fuel side of it. I've got the option to bring in fuel to air, which will grow it, but I'm kind of in favor of air out of any of the other towns. Not a problem, you know what I mean? It's not a problem. But you would like to dish it, but that's, that's the only downside of not having everything want the same product. Obviously, fuel can go to Dumfries as well. Uh, food can go over to Newcastle. But um, I think we'll leave it for now. I think we'll just leave it for now and just see how we ultimately just get on. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm seeing lots of passengers waiting or, you know, for these stations here. The Liverpool to Ex Exeter route. How long is that? It, it is quite long, but it looks like we need some additional trains on there. Just to increase the frequency. Is it making money, this line? It does make money, but the frequency needs to be addressed. So we'll clone another train on that line there. Um, the Birmingham... Oh, the Birmingham Airport line. Is that really overloaded? Right, let's add a few additional trains to this. So, hang on. Does it make money? No. It could make money. It could make money. So cargo-wise... No, passenger, sorry. Wait, how old is this train? Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's a multiple unit, isn't it? It's a multiple unit. So it's the electric one, right? It's this one. It costs us 2.2 milli a year to run and maintain. So I can increase it to... Oh, a lot more. 3.2, you get 99. Right, let's go for that one instead. We'll switch it out. It can definitely carry more people. And I'm wondering if, as time goes on, whether that will make a big difference or not. That'll be interesting to find out. Um, over here, the Birmingham to Edinburgh. We've got a lot of trains on that route. And it's only recently started to make money. <laughs> That's even crazier to even think about that. What about London? I feel like London is something that is kind of slightly slacking. But by the looks of it, it looks kind of okay. Now, I've wanted to do something in London for quite some time. And that is to create these four stations as a loop in London. I mean, London has the underground. We're going to build the overground right now. I could bring this down and make it then turn into loop that way and then do the same with something here. Which means I might be able to implement an additional train station there for a bigger catchment area. But I won't really benefit from anything over here. But the question is, are the elevations completely off? Does it make sense? Could it potentially work? Let's find out. Let's actually find out right now. If I went from here to that height, obviously it's going to collide with the building, but it could work there so what is that deleting oh it's got residential buildings there interesting interesting <laughs> that's weird isn't it right anyway this could work so this is purely just because i find it quite interesting to be able to do this so if i built you here and then confirmed it. And then tried to replicate the opposite side here. And then obviously confirmed it. I now have the beginning of a loop. Now obviously we need to sort out the signals. Because that's going to be a little bit of an issue. So obviously you would go. Oh yeah you go there. You go there. And then obviously you would go here. La di da. Now we have to delete these signals real quick. And then redo them. And the signal just here. And then we'll have to pull it in as a case of you're there, you're there, and then you're there. I don't know how that will work out with long trains. With that one I've just placed in, the last one I just did. It might cause a little bit of a stir, a little bit of an issue. But at the same time, it could be okay. Right, that works for the loop there. I've just now got to implement one here, but I like the idea of maybe trying to implement an additional train station. That interests me more than anything else. Obviously, it's going to be elevated. 
So we want to go for the elevated passenger station. It's not going to be a long one. Um, I don't know how high to make it. It's definitely going to be high speed. No pillars. We'll keep it like that. And if I place this, let me just rotate this all the way around. If I place that in there, is that high enough? I didn't check the height to connect in. So, easiest thing to do is elevated tracks. Is go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, we'll go by one more. On both sides. Give us a little bit of leeway. And then... Oh, this is going to be the difficult bit now. He's trying to get the turn on. Because in reality, I've also got to... Do the Chrissy Crossy. This is stuff I didn't kind of think of. Now, if I was to bend this all the way in... It's probably easier to come off this side. Um, to there. To there. And then to there. That's a difficult turn. I am asking a lot right now from this station. But this is the game I've chose to play. And right now, it's answering all my questions. Except one. And that is the Chrissy Crossy here. <laughs> because it's actually quite difficult to do. Right, where does that... That goes into there. And I'm trying to replicate it here, but it's not going to work. So I wonder if I just do it like this. Well, I've had to do it a bit differently to how I would normally do it, just for the sake of being able to get it in. This is going to be my next issue. I've only just realised this. So, I've got to somehow come off this up into there, and the slope is, is too steep. Oh no, how am I going to do that? It's almost like I need this to be elevated. Is it worth me looking at elevating that a bit more? Because if I can get that elevated, I can then draw some more roads and London can also slightly extend and expand a little bit. And it will also give me a slight little bit of height. So if I just delete to there, I know this is going to cause big issues. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And we'll take it as far as where the crisscross happens there. Now, we're going to instantly bring that up as high as I can. I've still got the old train tracks as well. And that will go into there like that, but the main thing is it's all elevated. Right, what's causing you issues now? Right, we have to delete something there, but we slightly elevated here. So is that enough to now go, hey, this is perfect. Let's go with it. Or are we truly that high still? We are truly still that high. Right, we're going to have to delete back. Right, just give me a memento. Give me one memento. I didn't realise how high that station actually was. So it might be worthwhile we us connecting directly to that. Alright, go to there. Bringing this out to there.
Now, obviously, tilt it slightly, bring it out, and then whack it down. Right, this is us now praying. This goes all into play. So, we've got to select you to come out. And what's the height difference it's currently at? See, it's not far off where you would kind of want it, but it's got to bend from such an awkward place around it. But that works. So we've got the right height. And if that follows round, that works as well. The only thing I'm now missing is the Chrissy Crossy, which I'm hoping we can get it there. And then getting this there. Okay, this is all going to plan. This is all going to plan. So back into play mode then. Because now nothing has changed for us. And then we'll do a Chrissy Crosser here. Even though they could have utilised the Chrissy Crosser up there. But it doesn't matter. we still got to implement one in. We can then create the London Loop. Which, I don't know whether this is a good... It's obviously going to be one train, okay? Because there's not going to be the demand for anything else. But it does access a little bit more up here. It's a shame we didn't, you know, the stops on a little bit further down where we could have maybe got like an additional stop in. But with the fact that they were trying to grow over here, maybe means that, I don't know, they could potentially push over there if I extended the road. One thing that is hindering London is the M25 at this point. Because it technically can't grow further than my loop. My loop is stopping it from growing. But I've just got to get the buildings now on this. That's one thing I didn't even check. And I should have checked that. So put you there, put you there. That connects, that connects. Oh, I didn't even do this. The, uh, oh, hang on. I was literally on it there. I didn't even do the platform on the opposite side. Hold on, there's a train going through there. So for somebody, this is a shorter route. And I wonder what line that becomes a shorter route for. Um, alright, place you down. Place you down. No, that didn't work. And weirdly, it's facing the wrong way as well. I know it's stalled to utilise. Maybe this one. Make it stick out a little bit. But the thing is, it doesn't reach anywhere, does it? Okay, that one slightly does. But this not so much. I don't know whether it's worth... Just for the the reachability. That actually covers quite a large area when you look at it. It does cover a large area. So what route then is diverting through there? None of the routes. I think one train has just got mixed up on its train tracks. Because I did some deletings. <laughs> I think so. So let me just quickly now sort out the signals for this. So you would go there, you would go there. It's too close to that, but I've definitely got to get rid of this signal. And we're just going to implement this one over here. So obviously you here, you're there. Can't do one there, it's a little bit too close, but I'll do one there. And one there. And off it goes. So, we're back to normal now. We're back to normal. So, this London loop then, which we can see all in its glory here, it's not going to be heavily utilised. I can already see that happening right now. And let me make it, like, bright pink or something. Does it stand out, the bright pink? Yellow? Red? I think the red stands out a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, it's going to make sure that on every stop, it's on the right side of the tracks. So, London... There's two London Norths. Goes on that side. This one's on that side. Down to here. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. So, we'll only do one side of it for now. We'll only do one side. We don't need to do any additional sides at this point. Now, where's the... That, I think that's the nearest one, isn't it? Yeah. So, buy vehicles. And we'll go with... We'll go with this... Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we'll go... No, we'll go with this one. 99... I can't see it's pushing 99 passengers. 57. I know it's not the best of trains to pick. But we'll do it. We will do it. So, line one. And, uh... Oh, I, I need to rename it. I, I forgot to rename it. So, we're going to call it the London Loop. And, uh... It'll be quite interesting to see what actually happens now. Because... If you wanted to get from one side of London to the other line, you actually couldn't do it. There was no way to connect it apart from going on the buses. But the buses themselves are having a lot of traffic problems <laughs> with trying to navigate the main streets of London right now. I don't know whether to turn this road into a one-way lane. Just be done with it. Because I'm always getting issues on this bridge, so why don't I just turn the bridge into a one-way road? one way I don't have many options do I when it comes to it right if I implement you but obviously it's got to go the opposite way because that's where the traffic's going it's heading that way anyway so make it where that's the only way you can go so it'll filter all the other vehicles going different ways And get them to utilize all three lanes a little bit more. We'll see what happens on that. Because they don't really utilize the other bridges that well. I mean, I know they're going to cross this one. But I don't want to get sucked into the London traffic. It's a slippery slope that we cannot get out of if I go down that road. It is a slippery slope. And guess what? I'm being sucked into it already. So I'm just doing a one-way system going completely through just to allow movement as far back as it needs to go. Oh, I'm being sucked into it. Let's not get sucked into it now, boys. Let's not get sucked into it now. So here's my train. My train right now for the London Loop. And there's actually 18 people waiting for the London Loop there. Over here, there's not really anybody just yet. No one's made their way over. Anybody going to walk to the train station? <laughs> this one, there's 17 people on the London Loop. There's 38, so... There's actually people that do want to use it. So that's pretty handy. Alright, we're going to see the, all the vehicle traffic now go. Off it goes, boys. A lot of it will disappear because it's now not able to go to the route it originally wanted to go to. And a lot of them do want to make that right-hand turn. But it will alleviate some pressures. It will move some vehicles, but it won't do much. It will just push the traffic to a different area. Ultimately, that's what it does, and that's what it does best. But we still allow the traffic to, uh, to filter through anyway. Right, let's not get caught a bit too much right now, because this London loop is beautiful. We've actually got one person there waiting. So where's my London Loop train? It's there. And it's already full to the brim. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh, boys. You have to laugh. You have to laugh. I don't know whether to kind of... Um, delete this road extension here. Just because... There's these houses here that could be bigger. I can get some larger houses within London itself here. I'll just delete all these. I know it's costing me money. Right. I'll, I'll smoothen it. Smoothen the train. And then, and then bring the road out. Right, so far down. We'll go to about there. Just to encourage growth for the area. Maybe you might get the odd one or two houses grow. Can I get that connected? You know, it's just little stuff like that you gotta do if you wanna try and keep it growing. So the train's doing its route again. 
Where is it now? Is it just down here? So I think it mainly might be people who wanted to go into this stop because this is like, you know, an untapped area of London that you couldn't once transport to. So you might see the bulk of people getting off here. Do we? Don't we? Five grand. <laughs> I think one person got off. That's hilarious. But it, it, do you know what? It could actually make a profit, weirdly enough. This London loop could could make a profit. Now, obviously, this is all going skew-if. So you got to terrain it where you can. And you might see some buildings then pop up. Very good, very good. We're still seeing lots of vehicles using the M25 anyway, so it, it's handy to, for some. But it never did what I originally wanted it to do. It never so, uh, kind of um, satisfied and solved my vehicle traffic on the, in the city. But it might be a case that we do need to build these one-way routes. That might be the way forward for us, is these one-way systems. I don't know. The jury's still out on that. The jury's still out on that one. But um, here is the route anyway. Still got 57 people on board. Completely maxed out right now. Making that big, big cash. Moving people, boys. Moving people is the main aim of the game right now. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to see it, isn't it? Right, we'll leave the London Loop. It's an interesting one. It's something that you could also implement in Birmingham as well. You could have a station here going that way and then looping it round. A station up here to loop it round. Guys, would we need to create the Birmingham Loop? Similar to the London Loop? Would Birmingham also benefit from it, seeing as it's also like London, the two-line system? Having an extra station up and above? That would be handy. I think we'll do that next episode. So, has enough time gone by right now where it's now bringing food? Yes, it is. Not a lot of food, but it's bringing food. There's a bit more food waiting as it goes back on the next time. Um, the truck over here, let me check these finances, are definitely making a profit right now, which is good to see. So that does what it's got to do. Um, there's lots of food there, so I reckon that line could be handy to have a second vehicle. Seeing the demand for it. This can obviously only produce as much as that truck delivers until the ship comes back with a 64 on board has it had a food delivery yet no so we're about to witness the first food delivery coming in which is not a lot but we didn't really produce a lot so this is quite exciting to see isn't it all right the ship is slowly arriving slowly arriving with its 18 food Oh, apparently, did, oh, yeah, I bet say he apparently did make money, but that's when he would have took the grain to the factory where it picked up the food. So, with the, with the small amount of 18 on board, what does that do for us? You ready for this? 186,000. <laughs> it's not a lot, but this is definitely going to be profitable soon. It's definitely going to be profitable. Right, you got to keep an eye on those bus stops as well. Because they end up like that, where you haven't got enough buses on the route. Uh, the bus route itself, uh, finances, it's almost there. It just needs that extra bus to keep us going. Because some of these areas are pretty full anyway. Um, the Ed Edinburgh looks pretty busy now, doesn't it? The Edinburgh Loop, how are you getting on? Ooh, we're on, we're on the edge of making money. We're on the edge of making money. Keep it up, boys. Keep it... Oh, okay, we do need another bus on that route. There we go. See what we can get on with that. Uh, the Newcastle loop. Uh, finances. Almost there as well. Just checking these stops right now. I think I might have one too many buses on there, but we'll leave it for now as the city continues to grow. The Carlisle loop. This is definitely going to be losing a lot of money. Yeah, it don't need anywhere else, so I'll leave that for now. The dumb freeze loop. 
Just check in there. We don't need any more buses on that. And uh, did I check the air loop? Is that making money? It's the only one it is making money. <laughs> and it only because of the amount of people that do get sent to over here on that stop. Anyway, that ship's on the way back right now. It will have 75 food. Probably have 100 by the time it gets there to collect. This will keep getting food as well. Is that second truck on the way yet? Yeah, it's crossing the bridge now. 24 there, but that will keep rapidly increasing as we get more and more stuff then delivered. So, no issues about that then. Let me just check here. Did we see an increase on the chart? Wow, the charts have gone mental. So that's going to do us justice in the long run. Uh, the London loop right now. How are you getting on? The frequency is very low. It's a case where we might need the second train. Or at least... A, we're going to have to change the train, boys. I ain't going to lie. We're going to have to change the train to be able to carry more. We should have just stuck it out and went for this one. Oh, what have I done? Uh, this one here carries 99. So replace that. There we go. Where is it? Is it you? Yes, here it is. So does it make much money stopping off at this stop then? Yeah, nearly 100 grand. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, but it can carry up to 99 passengers now, which is the main thing. Oh my goodness me. Look how many people are on that, on the London loop there. Oh, do you know what I think's happening? I think they're utilizing this as a transfer between stops. Between lines. It could mean that all the, you know, where they use a transfer here, for example, or that would transfer over here. If you don't, oh my goodness me, we're gonna need load of more trains on that loop. I think that's what's happening. I could be wrong. I'll get a second one to double the capacity. But that's a lot of people that want to be transferred. Surely that's not purely people just moving around London. But then again, there's 30 people there and we've just picked people up. Oh, good God, that's going to be dangerous. We'll have to keep an eye on that, boys, because I may may have made a wrong choice in creating that loop. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be quite interesting. We'll, we'll keep our eye on it. It could be the wrong thing to do. It could be the right thing to do. Who knows? But we've recently just had a record profit year. Our previous one was a hundred and uh, four hundred and forty-eight. We had a 466 and a 467. We are pushing ever so close to having a half a billion dollar in income year. But the main thing is, we are making profit quite regularly now. If I don't spend it all, we make profit. 53, 47, we're currently 12 milli on 15 milli, 17 milli on this year to date. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Now, do we need to upgrade? Wow. The London route on the airport. We need to manage this vehicle right now. Do you know what? I'm going to actually replace this with the 198 capacity one. I don't care how much it's going to cost me. I'm going to do the same with the Birmingham one as well. Because I can't have that type of capacity just sitting there. And to be honest with you, I probably should have done it to the London loop, upgrading it to that capacity. Where's the train for that loop? Because there's just no way in this world that that line is going to be able to be sufficient enough in moving those passengers. That's the feeling I have. That is the feeling I have. I just need to train with a bigger capacity. So 
So that train's just down there now. And how many people are waiting at these stops? Look at how many people are waiting at these stops. You know what? We're going to do it. I don't care. We're going to replace them all. Cost us an absolute fortune, mind. But one, they'll be speedier, and two, they'll carry more passengers. And three, we'll make more money, but we'll also lose more money. <laughs> With the operating expenses of it. So watch this now as it stops here from 457 down to. You see those numbers now changing slightly. Wow, that took a huge lump off. So that could be exactly what we need to be able to push a little bit more f uh, further. And at the same time, also carry more passengers here as well. Are you coming into the airport? You are. So yeah, it's just all about upgrading those capacities. Now obviously I had to spend a fortune, so on my financial charts right now, the expense is going to go through the roof. I'm now 78 million in the hole on this one. So there's not a fat lot I can do on that. <laughs> but we are making profit anyway, boys. We've managed to turn it around. We are making the profit. And did they build houses in this new area? They're starting to build houses down here now where we've expanded those streets. So we'll just keep an eye on it. We will just keep an eye on it. But at least they're now picking up passengers. And the London route has been a little bit more sufficient enough. <sighs> okay, we'll end it here, boys. We might do something similar to this in Birmingham. If this actually all goes to plan and it works out in our favour. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye.